boys and girls, and welcome to Pajama Prayers. Thank you for joining me tonight for our show. It's going to be great. Did you remember to invite mom and dad or call your family and friends and ask them to join us tonight? I sure hope you did. If you forgot to tell mom and dad, run, grab them real quick. Let them know we're going to have a great show and you would like for them to watch with you. The theme for our show tonight is kindness. Do you know what that means? I bet you do. I hope you do. But just in case, we have a story about kindness tonight. The title of our story is Be Kind. And we're going to talk a little bit about that after the story about kindness and what it means. But before we get to our story, we're going to kick off our show with a game of hidden pictures. Do you remember how to play that? We've had so much fun in the past with hidden pictures. So I thought it might be fun to do that again tonight. I hope you find all of the hidden objects and I hope you have fun. Are you ready to play? Good luck to you. Can you find what's hidden in this picture? Do you see a trowel? What about a hat? Do you see a crescent moon? Where is the zipper? Can you find the paintbrush? What about a ruler? the donut. Can you find a belt? Do you see an envelope? an ornament. Can you find a magnet? Do you see the kite?
Now find a rolling pin. Can you find an adhesive bandage? Where is the shell? Can you find a banana? Where is the tooth? Can you find a bowling ball? Do you see a pin? Can you find a yo-yo? Now find the ring. Can you find a boomerang? What about a hockey stick? Can you find a screwdriver? Great job! Well, how did you do? Did you find all the hidden objects? I hope you did. I didn't find all of them. I never find all of them, but I have so much fun looking for them. So I hope you enjoyed it as well. Now let's talk about her story. I said that her story tonight, the title of it was Be Kind, and it's about kindness. Now this is where we usually look up the words that we don't understand, so we make sure we understand the meaning of different words. But tonight, there are no unfamiliar words in this story. Everything in the story you should totally understand. So what I'd like for you to do is just get your listening ears on so that you can pay close attention because it's an important story and I hope you enjoy it. Snuggle down and get ready. Here we go. Be kind. Tanisha spilled grape juice yesterday. All over her new dress. Everyone laughed. I almost did too. But mom always tells me to be kind. So I tried. I don't think it worked. I said, purple is my favorite color. I thought Tanisha would smile, but she ran into the hallway instead. When she came back, snack time was over. She put on her art smock and didn't look at anyone. I 
I almost told Tanisha that art was my favorite class. But I didn't want her to leave again. So I painted purple splotches and added some green until I had a bunch of beautiful violets. While I painted, I thought about Tanisha. Should I have handed her my napkin? Let her borrow my sweatshirt? Spilled my juice so that everyone would look at me instead? What does it mean to be kind anyway? Maybe it's giving. Making cookies for Mr. Rinaldi who lives alone. Letting someone with smaller feet have my too tight shoes. Hmm, he might win races in them too. Maybe it's helping. Putting dirty dishes in the sink. Cleaning up after Otis, our class guinea pig. He's a messy eater. Maybe it's paying attention. Telling Desmond I like his blue boots. Asking the new girl to be my partner. Listening to Aunt Franny's stories. Even the ones I've heard before. Being kind should be easy. Like throwing away a wrapper or recycling a bottle. Or saying thank you or bless you. My mom says, the quickest way to be kind is to use people's names. Like, hello, Carla. Or good afternoon, Rabbi Mandelbaum. What's new, Omar? Being kind can be hard, too. Even when you know what to do, Teaching someone something I'm good at is tricky. Even when I'm patient. And sticking up for someone when other kids aren't kind is really hard. And really scary. Maybe I can't solve Tanisha's grape juice problem. Maybe all I can do is sit by her in art class. and paint this picture for her because I know she likes purple too. Maybe I can only do small things, but my small things might join small things other people do. And together, they could grow into something big. Something really big. So big that all our kindnesses spill out of our school. Spread throughout the town. Travel across the country and go all the way around the world. Right back to Tanisha and me. So we can be kind again and again and again again. The end. Be kind. Wasn't that a great story? I told you it was going to be good. How did it make you feel when the little girl spilt her grape juice all over her? She was so embarrassed. And no one really seemed to be kind to her, did they? 
there was one friend who was trying really hard to think of something kind to do. But she wasn't quite sure. Have you ever been in one of those situations where you wanted to be kind to someone or you wanted to help them, but you just really didn't know what to do? You know, I'm wondering, does the Bible tell us we should be kind? Is there anything in the Bible about kindness? Hmm. You know what? I think we'll ask the mystery board. Let's check with our mystery board and see if she can find any scripture, any Bible verse that tells us that we should be kind. Let's see what she finds. I have searched the Bible, and this is what I found. Ephesians 4.32 Be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ forgave you. Ephesians 4.32 Well, there you have it. It is in the Bible. The Bible says that we should be kind to each other. I kind of thought that would be in the Bible. Boys and girls, have you ever had anyone that was unkind to you? Have you ever been unkind to someone else? You know, it's not hard to be kind. Saying kind things to someone when they're feeling sad. Or just sometimes just a pat on the back. Sometimes just sitting next to someone who's feeling lonely is showing kindness. One important way that we can show kindness is by using our words. When we say kind things with our words, like, you are special, or I like that dress you have on, or maybe that new toy looks like so much fun. Things like that are kind things that we say to each other. What about when one of our friends gets hurt, we can say, I'm so sorry. And that's a kind way to treat them. And kind words makes the other person feel better. 
When someone says kind words to me, it brings me joy and gets rid of sadness. So let's do what the Bible says. Let's ask Jesus to help us this week to choose kind words and kind actions to be the kind of friend that he created us to be. And we can change our world with kindness, boys and girls. It's true. I love you to pieces and I'm so glad you're with me tonight. I hope that you will join me next week again for another story. And I hope that you will invite your friends to join us as well. But we're all out of time for tonight. So turn to someone there with you and say, You are worth more than you know, capable of more than you think, and love more than you can imagine. Good night. Mm-hmm.